welcome back to Dauntless. Today I'm starting my English series where I will, will showcase every build that I showcased so far on for an international audience. Starting off with my King Kong Hammer and Striker build that I showcased the very first and that is made to enjoy the Togadoro ultimate ability. Legendary ability on me. So, what is this build about? This build is about utilizing Togadoro, just as I said. Therefore, we have Togadoro with us. We absolutely focus on staggering the behemoth so that we can make use of um, overpower. We Put in as much attack speed as we can to reach the cap of 50% and we yeah we try to um, push the behemoth to 50% health stagger him and then start off with just brute fully smashing this behemoth now where to while Torga is not really the best legendary weapon that you can use it's like one of the least tiers I think it still can make uh, lots of fun therefore I just made this build as a fun and meme build also utilizing sturdy just to enjoy that big smashing of the heavy attacks of Togadoro which are looking like these of course this is not as impressive it will get more impressive in real fights though, for the actual gameplay video, visit the link of the video in the description where I showcase the build in German and have a little bit of gameplay. Now during the gameplay there is nothing important said, so you can just mute it and enjoy the visual informations that you can gather. Now up to the build. We are using of course the Togadoro Hammer. We use Tough and an Assassin's Frenzy, which is also another key cell to make this build more viable. Because during the time that we can actually activate Togadoro, we usually have at least one part break recently. So we will have even more attack speed during that phase. We use the cell Explosive Salvo. <laughs> yeah, funny bug. Since the last update, we have everything double now. Double Omni Cells, double Lanterns, etc. etc. We, we use the Explosive Salvo just to have some source of safe interrupt. You can also use the Mighty Landbreaker if you want. But I like the Salvo more because I'm lazy. We use the Waved Crown just to push in as much stagger damage as we can even though we are not attacking the head for some reason just for this kind of situations you know and we of course use the Hellion Bound just for damage we make use of the Tempest Omnicell for this additional 10% attack speed no more reason to that we use the Koshai Lantern just in case Parasitic isn't quite doing the job so that we have a emergency um, plan we have catalyst in there we use the Cherok helmet the volcanic helmet with sturdy so that we can just smash brain brain dead smash um, without being interrupted at all we have the phalanx armor with tough now on this place we could also do we could also do for example the Gnasher armor with parasitic would be just the same vice versa which probably would be better for elemental balance but resistance as I experience, ex experienced it sorry um, resistance uh, resistances aren't that important anymore in the end game anyways so this is just for your liking. Take Phalanx with Tough 
or take an azure with parasitic. We have the Boreal Might as close with Tenacious. And we have the Time Weaver um, boots with Overpower. So that gives us a max of six, six Catalyst, six Sturdy, six Overpower, six Tough, and six Tenacious. With the little sidekicks of three Assassin's Frenzy and three Parasitic. As potions, we use the Bliss and Frenzy combo, which is standard, and we use the Assault potion, just for that even extra bit of stagger damage. Even more, uh, whatever. You know what I mean. So, we, c we have this build in two variations. One is for Hammer, and one is for striker for striker it is the exact same build up the only reason why we just use these two weapons is the immense stagger damage that we can put out with these like for example pistols you can't use this build you do a, as good as non stagger damage no stagger damage i mean um, chain blades also horrible even before the rework, the stagger damage wasn't that great. Um, Pike, decent stagger damage, but you can do way more fitting builds with Pike. Yeah, etc. etc. Striker and Hammer are really the best weapons for this build because of their huge stagger damage that they are able to deal. Now. Just to showcase how this build works, I will go into a little fight. I will probably take the strikers for now. And show you how the build works. Um, I'm level 16, I can ramp this all up. A little goodbye to this area. And off we go. Um, off we go. Now even though this is a meme build, you can probably do blazeworks with it. Level 17, 18 around, you can try to, to make it there. I know it is capable of that, it depends on your skills how good you will handle the blazeworks. But keep in mind that if you want a competitive build, there are more reliable builds out there. But, but if you just want to play Togodoro in some funny way, you can definitely use this build for some fun. Now we try to bring this behemoth down to a half and stagger it and as soon as this is staggered... Ah, oh, it has a pot break. Now we just go ham on him. 
Ah, this is the worst case scenario. Hey! That much for that little... Well, that wasn't an optimal showcase. Let me try another one. Let's take this phalanx up there. Although, you even saw some benefits for now. You saw the actual use of the Forbidden Cell, Sturdy, which prevents us from being interrupted. Really, really nice for just mindless gameplay. Now as soon as we get a stagger in And there it is, now the big damage comes out That's how it works. Have fun with this build, and I wish you a good evening. See you next time!